as a backend as a service, of course, Superbase is keeping track of all the events through logs. Whatever is happening within your application, Superbase is creating logs. If a user is subscribing, you have a log. If a user is creating a record, you have a log. If he's updating a record, etc., etc. So you can find all the logs of Superbase here in the application here on logs. So when you click on it, you arrive on the dashboard here on uh, actually an editor to write your query inside your Postgres instance to get all the logs of the last 24 hours, for instance, or you can get the logs of a custom date. Logs can be very helpful in many ways. First, with logs, you can debug your application. So everything that you're gonna do here, you're gonna find some track, for instance, inside here, inside the Postgres instance. So as you see here, I got a track right now on what I'm doing and whatever is happening in here. So when you will get an error, for instance, here we've got a fatal error down here, I can keep track on what's happening on my Superbase instance. So here, it's helping me to know if something goes wrong inside the application. So logs are here to help me to know if an error happened, okay, if an error occurred inside my application. So now I can fix the problem, I can troubleshoot my, uh, actually my process, my application here, and through here, this list of logs that are very consistent, we can see here that almost every second I got four or five logs, I can click and I can know what happened here. So of course, in terms of security, logs are very useful because I can track the user activity and I can see really clear, uh, really fast, if uh, a request indicates some kind of security breach inside my Superbase instance. However, here it's not supposed to happen. Superbase is super strong as a backend as a service, but we never know. We want to always get a hand on what's happening here, and this is why the logs are very useful for security. Another thing is that uh, the logs help us to work with the performance optimization, all right? So actually, by when you analyze the logs, you can see which queries are taking the longest to execute. You can have some metrics on uh, what is taking a lot of uh, resources on uh, your uh, uh, Superbase instance. Well, there's a lot of stuff that you can do. You can see also which endpoints are the most frequently requested and give you an insight on what is the feature you created that is the most used. So let's explore a little bit the dashboard of the logs. So here we got the Postgres instance. So as I showed you here, we, we have the list and up here, we can see that we got a refresh with a real-time notification here with 18 new events. So when I'm clicking on this, look at this, I'm refreshing my uh, logs and I got here the logs time, the request that I got actually here on my Superbase instance. And I got the latest logs, okay? So I can refresh, I can click also on severity to get only the error. So here I'm going to just save this and let's have a look. And what's gonna happen here, I'm going to have only the errors, okay? So if I'm clicking again and I put no error, of course I will have no error. And if I want to have all the logs, I can click on log this way, all right? Here, if I'm clicking on chart, here I can display or not the chart that I got on the top, all right? So here, I'm just going to remove this. I'm going to save again and start again for you to understand. Here we are. And as you see, I can hide the uh, hide and show the, the chart. By clicking on this button, I have the option to download the logs. So I'm going to save the logs and I'm going to uh, open them. And I have them as a CSV file, all right? So through this CSV file, we can see here that I got all the logs of my Superbase instance. Okay, so here, when I go here on query, I can query actually my uh, Superbase or Postgres instance to get okay, the um, latest logs that I want. Okay, I can click on here on saved queries. So let's say that I want to write some queries that I want to launch really often. I can save them here. I got the recent queries here. And if I don't know how to write queries, for this log explorer, I got templates that are here. So it's really nice from the team of Superbase 
to think about people who don't know how to write queries. Here you got some uh, templates that you can use. I got also the API Edge Network that helped me to retrieve all the calls made on my instance through the API Edge, okay? On the host log, it's different. Here, if I want to change, actually, let's say that I want to have the last three days logs, what I need to do here is to upgrade my plan here, okay? For the log retention, I need to pass to a paying plan. So I need to upgrade my plan. For the storage here, I'm going to do exactly the same. It's exactly the same. I will need to pay to get logs for the storage also because there is still the duration of three months uh, log retention. And for the real time, you understood, it's exactly the same here. It's a paying feature. What is the most important to remember is that every time you want to debug Superbase, you can go to your instance and go to logs down there and click on your Postgres instance. And in here, you will see all the requests, if they succeed or not, and you will be able to debug just from here. So I didn't show you, but down here, you got some metadata that you can also use, which is very useful if you want to know what was wrong in your request, what happened and why it failed.